Hello guys, Colin here. Recently I was at GetCon, a guitar YouTube event hosted at the Warwick Freemus HQ in Germany and I got the opportunity to visit the Freemus Museum in Mark Neukirchen which houses some incredible history from the beginnings of the brand dating back to the 1950s. Spanning the three stories of the museum are a wonderful display of old instruments, accessories, advertisements and information about the journey of Framus. Over 200 instruments are here dating back as far as 1946 and reaching as late as the 1970s. This is Uwe, he's in charge of all the organisation for GitCon from Warwick's side and he described to us the origins of the museum here. First, the building was bought by, by Hans-Peter Wilfer when he moved over to Mark Neukirchen from, uh, from Franconia, which is the original uh, Warwick factory was in Franconia, about 50 kilometers from here. And when he moved over in 94 to Mark Neukirchen, he bought this building just to get um, people to see the history of his his uh, father's company, Framus. And Framus was originally named um, after Fränkische Musikinstrumentenmanufaktur, which means musical instruments from Franconia. That's where the name Framus comes from. And this museum is uh, all about the history of the, um, of the woods from around here, where all these good tone woods come from. Uh, they were used in the building of classical instruments a lot in the past centuries. And we have a lot of instrument builders around here. Uh, we call this area in Germany uh, called the Musikwinkel, which means like the, the musical corner of the of the uh, country. Violin builders, cello builders, upright bass builders, all that kind of stuff. And uh, that's the original idea why H.P. Wilfer moved to this corner of uh, Germany. And yeah, he set up this this museum and collected all these uh, vintage frames instruments and uh, made up everything uh, just for the people to to get to know the history of him and his family and the music instrument building in Germany. Many of the most interesting instruments come from the early period in the mid 50s and early 60s where the electric guitar was still in its infancy and had yet to form some set in stone industry standard build methods. From this era we see many strange body shapes, headstock designs, proprietary electrical connections and pickup designs. My favourite of these being the pickups that screwed to the fingerboard with langette style metal strips and this guitar with a sliding pickup tray running the length of the body. Some of the finishes were unusual too, like this furry, flocked finish on a range of Hawaiian lap steels. Inevitably the designs unique to Framus gave way to some imitations of popular designs from other companies as this display cabinet shows. Fortunately modern Framus doesn't follow this trend and continues to make many original designs and shapes which places Framus instruments very high on the list of guitars to own if you're looking for something different from the classic shapes we're all so familiar with. It wasn't just guitars on display, there were an array of other stringed instruments from classic violins to stranger instruments set up with a cacophony of strings too numerous to count. These viols don't have the typical front placement f-holes but rather sound slots around the sides of the body offering something a bit unusual and unique. This single cut double bass was an imposing sight and these electric zithers also made some interesting viewing. A hammered dulcimer alongside its original advertisement and a wall of very pretty mandolins helped fill out the more traditional instrument contingent. The top level of the museum featured more information regarding Framus and the history of music in the town, as well as a play deck kitted out with modern Framus instruments should one be inspired by the vast collection on the floors below. We were also provided with these exceptionally heavy and extensive hardback books which go in depth into the story of Framus and contain lots of nice, glossy, white clean pictures of all the guitars and instruments collected and restored in the setting up of the museum. I've yet to work my way through these as there is a lot to read but this will be a wonderful supplement to the knowledge I gained while visiting the Framus Museum. I've also got a lot of video of the modern factory tour showing Warwick basses and Framus guitars in all levels of construction so if you want to be sure you're around to see that video when it comes out then please do hit the subscribe button. There's also a video playlist of all the content that everyone made while at GitCon over on the Framus Warwick channel if you want to check that out. But that's all for now guys, keep it loud 
and I'll see you later. Whoa, look at the neck on that.